Hey everybody and welcome to the Plan Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse. And today I thought I would just make a quick little video on the positive sentiment that we're actually seeing in the market right now and how that relates to our plant stocks to some extent. All right, before I go into that, as always, I would appreciate an early thumbs up to help spread the video to more people out there. And if you haven't started subscribing to this channel yet, but you are interested in plant stock companies like Beyond Meat, Tattoo Chef, Oatly, the very good food company, the name of few, then you should subscribe and don't forget that bell button to get updated. All right, folks, let's begin with taking a look at our stocks. Now, today it seems that the market is down somewhat, not very much. It's still quite positive all around in the market. But when it comes to our stocks, they're down a little. Oatly, as always, is getting shorted a lot. But otherwise, we're not seeing really big changes here. Uh, but the more interesting thing is if we look at this last five days performance, right? You can say that Baby F is actually in five days up 12% beyond around 2%, uh, but if from a one month perspective, 10% up there, you can see EatV, the vegan index here, or the vegan ETF is up about 4% in the last four days, only 4%, and then we have Tattoo Chef that's up about 7% in the last five days, and then we have VGFC, the very good food company that's up about 2% in the last five days. So we can see that there's something happening in the market, right? Something is more positive. And one way we could actually check that is by looking at the VIX index, right? The VIX is basically an index where you could kind of measure what the mentality of investors are, right? When it comes to the overall market, how afraid people are or how fearful people are. And if you take a look at it right now, it's around 18 bucks, right? Or it's, you know, below 19 bucks. But if you just go back looking at a month, right? Here, it was up at about $36. So in the last, and it's also the same uh, was true around 22 days ago only. So 36 and it's down to uh, below 19. That kind of gives you the sentiment of where the market is right now. Now, if we take a Further back, you know, and take a look here, back here. Imagine what this is. Well, this is basically when the pandemic was hitting the market, right? Everyone panicking it was up around 82, 83. And then again, uh, a month ago, that's the first time we've seen in a very long time that it's gone up that much again. But obviously, we're also getting other pointers to that things are actually moving in the right direction uh here in my morning briefing guys if you haven't joined my free discord channel take a look in the description uh where we talk about all of these stocks right here tattoo chef beyond Oatly, the very good food kind of baby f to name a few there uh, and i give you five weekday morning briefings when the market is open i'll give you a briefing on what's going on in the overall market and i try to connect them to our stocks right and uh, this was from yesterday, and here we saw also a very positive market yesterday. And here I'm talking about that there's a lot of positivity overall, also on Wall Street. Uh, as I wrote here, that uh, Credit Suisse chief U.S. equity strategist Jonathan Golub, he's basically also saying that it's too early to call recession. As you guys know, a lot of people are talking about recession right now. But he feels that many companies multiples have come down a lot, which makes them more attractive today. And obviously, he's not the only one who's talking about that. I added this picture here. Morgan Stanley is stating that, quote, a policy mistake that causes a recession is clearly possible. But our baseline is that an inversion without a recession is more likely. JP Morgan is stating that they believe investors should add risk in areas that overshot on the downside, such as innovation, tech, biotech. EM China and small caps. And I would say plant stocks here, guys, definitely took an overshot on the downside here. Right? So plenty of upside right now. These segments are pricing in several global recessions, which will not materialize in our view. And then Bank of America stated the bottom line is that near term recession concerns are likely overdone. The economy and labor market have strong momentum and should benefit from reopening tailwinds for the next few quarters. But fast forward to the second half of 2023 and recession risk will probably be much higher. 
So something to look forward to. And I also mentioned here, reading from different news outlets when it comes to the Russian-Ukrainian situation, that their ongoing talks hasn't actually been going that well right now. They haven't come to any conclusion. But the good thing here is that Russia isn't talking anymore about that, you know, the they need to denazify the Ukraine. Uh, and they're also prepared to let the Ukraine join the EU, which is really big, right? As long as obviously they stay away from NATO. So I would say this could be a bullish sign also. And obviously things can turn around again for the worst temporarily, but it is awesome to see, I think, that things are actually moving in the right direction in a way that we haven't seen in a long time, especially with our plant stocks. I mean, they look way more positive now that I've seen in a very long time, several of our stocks actually. And like I've stated before, it reminds me of the old idea, you know, as long as you're patient, you will be rewarded. This is not only when it comes to stocks, most things in life, right? But if you have this stomach for it, when it comes to the overall market, right? When it comes to stocks, if you can, you know, muster it. And if it is a company that you feel really secure with, you know, then according to Warren Buffett, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. All right, guys, that was just a little quick video that I wanted to share with you. Liking that it's such a positive sentiment out there right now, especially by looking at the VIX, it seems obvious. And hopefully we might see it for a longer period of time but obviously we don't know that's something we need to keep monitoring all right guys hope you got a lot of value from today's video and if you did smash that like button feel free to join us in the free discord channel take a look in the description and also again guys if you are interested in these kinds of companies then subscribe and don't forget that bell button and as always this wasn't any financial advice do your own due diligence hope to see you tomorrow and peace out